way you got to walk through it. That's right. And then with that patience, you have experience. Right. You experience what will happen when you have that patience. And then because of that experience, then you get hope. That's your confidence. Right. and your faith and then hope maketh not disappointed or right. ashamed right. because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Yes. His love is spilled out in Amen. our hearts. Amen. Shed abroad. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, that's Praise the God. scriptures that I was going. That's the same thing. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Yeah, it reminded me of uh, James chapter 1, mm -hmm. where it talked about, um, yeah, count it all joy, yeah. Yeah, count it all joy, that's right, that's right. It's not that you're rejoicing because you have tribulations, <laughs> but you know that, you know, in due time you'll be out of them and you're going to be stronger and not much better for it. Amen. Right. I think we rejoice because we see it working. Right. You know, we're in it. We may still be in pain, but you're rejoicing because you know, as you rejoice, God's really strengthened you. Right. right. And, and he's going to bring you through it. Yeah. But yeah. the word also tells us many are the afflictions of the righteous, yes. and God will deliver us from them all. So he's promised us deliverance. So why yeah. not rejoice, right? Yeah. That's he's right. already promising us. That's right. That's he's remembering his promises. That's mm -hmm. right. Really what he's done for us yeah. and what he has for us. Yeah. And then I found it interesting, verse 7 and 8. Well, verse 7. For scarcely, no, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die, but per adventure a good man would some even dare to die. God looks on our hearts. He looks on the inside. Man looks on the outside. So if somebody they think is really good, they will die before a righteous man. You know, if you don't know God, you're not going to. That's right. Yeah, and going down to want the first to look for enemies. You yeah, know, that's right. That's would right. you run yourself out in the car for like three days? Yeah. <laughs> what was the last part? Superman. Superman. Uh, oh. Would you go run out of the car to save Lex Luthor? Because that was the bad guy in my head. That's Superman. Right. <laughs> That's cute. That's <laughs> Praise God. Any other comments on, on Romans? Now, now let's look at an example of justification by prayer. You know, there's a lot of times. Um, People think that they're justified in how they pray, but we're going to look at this in Luke chapter 18, and we're going to go to verses 9 through 14. Luke chapter 18. And we're going to start at verse 9. Anyone would like to read 9 through 14? I'll read. Okay. And he spake this parable unto certain which he trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And one thing, Jim, hold on. So just underline trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And you remember justification is trusting in God. God says right. that we're, we're righteous. So this person trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Okay. Which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one was a Pharisee, the other was a publician. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as his publician. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I possess, and the publician standing afar off would not even lift, would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Amen. 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 So see, you see, Jesus is saying, this man went down <coughs> justified rather than the other, because he trusted in Christ, mm -hmm. not in himself, That's as right. the other person did, trusted in himself. So it's a point in which we know that everything that we do is of Christ. Every, how we live, how we move, how we walk, it's all of Christ. It's not of ourselves. So we don't trust in ourselves. And in Psalms uh, 71, uh, I think it's verse 1, it says, 
uh, in thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. We put our trust in him. It's not in ourselves, not in other people, but it's in thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. And that's where trust is our confidence in God, our confidence that God will take care of us, that he will lead us, that he will provide for us, that he will watch over us, that he will give us all that we need to live a successful life in this earth, on this earth, and that we will accomplish all that Christ has called us to do. That's what. That's where our trust is, is in the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 So, I wanted to um, kind of give us some scriptures this morning about justification. And we did talk about, I think, the word imputed. That was mentioned, I think, Jenna, when you read, uh, or somebody read. Imputed means to ascribe to another. So that's what Christ did. He imputed uh, righteousness to us through his shed blood, through his blood. And um, I think that was all that I have. Now, um, God, what God wanted me to do today, and um, we're going to do this, is we're, we're all going to um, celebrate somebody very special. And I just thank God for this person being a part of our Bible study. Um, she is just... Uh, a wonderful, beautiful mother, about to be mother. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we just wanted to uh, appreciate her today because um, she's about to give birth to a beautiful baby boy. And we're just so happy that God has just brought a family to you. And we've got gifts and we've got mm -hmm. celebration for you, Kimberly. Yes, we do. And that was why I wanted you to share that for. <laughs> yeah, that was. Oh, pass it out. Excuse me. Yes. We keep saying she couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Um, I was saying that that's why we wanted wanted Kimberly to share this morning um, because I wanted to make sure you would be here so oh. that we <laughs> so that we could we could celebrate you, Kimberly, because you've been a part of the ladies Bible study for. Um, going on two years now, and we just want to um, just celebrate you. So, what God wanted me to do, uh, first of all, is He wanted all the ladies to pray for, for Kimberly. So, we're first going to pray for you, and then we're going to present gifts and um, your special. Everyone around them will be able to just uh, see their joy, Lord, and thank you to you for this wonderful gift. Um, Lord, and I just pray that you would just. Pour out your blessings and your peace on them yes, yes, as they go through uh, sleepless nights and <laughs> all the, the fun stuff that comes along with it. And we yes. just praise you so much for this baby. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, I lift up Kim and Gavin, Lord, to you, God, as they embark upon this new life that is coming into their family, Lord. God, I pray that you continue to cover them, thank God. You, Jesus. Cover them in the delivery room, Lord. Yes. And Lord, rain down a special anointing upon this family yes, and this baby, God, that they will continue to walk in the righteous path, God, that you have laid before them. Lord, and I pray that no hurt, harm, or danger will come to this baby or to this family, God, as they give you all the glory, honor, and praise for what you have done. Lord, we all say thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And we're thanking you ahead of time for thank an you. awesome delivery yes, and an awesome future for the, the baby and the family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you. Lord God, we thank you for Kimberly. Uh, uh, we thank you, Lord God, for um, the son that you have given her, Lord God. I uh, pray that you would give um, her and Gavin wisdom, Lord God, on how to train up the child, Lord God. Mm -hmm. I pray that you would teach them. Mm -hmm. um, what to let uh, their son do, Lord God. Teach them how to guard their son's heart, Lord God. Yes, with um, yes. the different video games, with the different television yes. television yes. shows, Lord God. Yes, Lord. I pray even as um, things that are being taught in school that are not of God, Lord God, but they would teach their son your ways and that yes, they would Lord. teach your son um, their son uh, the word of God, Lord God, yes, and that God. he would be as a Daniel and a Shadrach and a Meshach, Lord God, yes, that he Lord. would stand for righteousness, Lord God, yes, that he would not be like his peers, but he would be as a light, um, 
uh, shining upon the hill, Lord God, yes, God. in yes. darkness, Lord God. I thank you, Father, um, that his education is paid for, God. I pray yes, that you, um, he would have a full scholarship to college, Lord God. Yes, Lord. I pray um, that he would always excel in whatever he does, Lord God, and that yes, we Lord. give your name all the glory, the honor, and the praise, Lord God. Yes, I thank you, Lord God, for the joy that you, um, this son would bring um, thank you to Gavin and um, to uh, Kim, Lord God. And I um, just give you praise and honor and glory. Thank you, Lord God, for all the um, special moments and all the special memories um, yes, that you have awaiting for them, Lord God. Yes, and I pray that you would just bless this time yes, um, yes. that she's having um, with her son, Lord God. Yes, and we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Nikita wants it right here. Nikita, you ready? It's a delay, guys. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm mute, Kita. I'm mute. She's praying for you. Yes. If you can sense it in your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> She's not <laughs> Kate, we can't hear you, sweetie. Oh, you can't hear me? Okay, now we can. Yes. Okay. All right.
but that just to confirm, that's what was in my spirit. And the one thing I wanted to point out to y'all is um, about a third of the way through, he started kicking the little body. Oh, Praise that's God. That's his way of agreeing. Amen. Well, you know, he usually only kicks when there's food. <laughs> <laughs> so as his mother, it surprised me, but yeah, yes. he felt the spirit. Yes, he did. Praise God. She's confirming. They have to tell me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's confirming. Praise God. Amen. God is so good. So we just.